Oh dear god, I'm dying. Hello and welcome to another video. Yay. First things first, let's address the flamingo in the room. I dyed my hair. Isn't it pretty? It's all new and pink and fresh and it's got purple in it. Can you see the purple? Mmm, purple. Now that that's out of the way. Today I am doing the rapid fire book tag. I wasn't officially tagged, but G from Book Roast did it over on her channel and she said everyone was tagged and then I was chatting to her about it and she said I should do it. So here I am, doing it. So I think there's a lot of questions for this one. Uh, yeah, there's 24 questions in this tag. I've written them all down in my trusty notebook. Shall we just get on with it? No beating around the bush. Let's just crack on. Question number one. Ebook or physical book? Physical book. There is no debating that. I don't read ebooks. I don't have an ebook reader. I don't have the app on my phone or anything. So physical books, absolutely. Like to hold them. I like to sniff them. Moving on. Number two, paperback or hardback? Unpopular opinion, and I've voiced it a couple of times, I prefer paperbacks, I love cracking a paperback spine, and obviously you can't do that with a hardback. Also, paperbacks are so much easier to carry around. Hardbacks are just too big and bulky for me. Number three, online or in-store book shopping. This one is the first one with argument. In-store means you're surrounded by paper and books and all things pretty, so obviously I love that but online is so much cheaper, which means online. If I'm in a bookstore and I happen to pick one up, fair enough, but if, I, if there's a particular book that I know I want, online, absolutely. Okay, number four, trilogies or series? I'm gonna have to say trilogies because with series, the further it gets along, I kinda get bored with it. Some series obviously are really great and I love the whole series, but I just think a trilogy is neater and more compact and I just enjoy them a little bit more because I know I don't have to make a long term commitment to it. That's the struggle. Commitment struggles. <laughs> Number five, heroes or villains. Obviously I'm going to back the good guy, but if, there, if it wasn't for the villains there wouldn't be a good guy. So, I don't know. I'm still going to back the good guy, I'm going to go with heroes. Number six, a book you want everyone to read. Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer. Give it a read. <laughs> Recommend an underrated book. I'm just going to say it again. Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer. I don't know if that classes as an underrated book, but I haven't heard of many people reading it and I love it, so I'm gonna go with that one. Number eight, the last book you finished. The last book I finished would be this one, Three Dark Crowns by Ken Dare Blake. It was a good book, I did enjoy it. It was a bit slow getting into it, but I finished it, I enjoyed it, and I will be reading the next one when it comes out. Number nine, the last book you bought. Gemina. I'm currently reading Illuminae, ready to read Gemina and um, I'm very excited by it. The covers of these books, Illuminae's over there, I'm not going to go and grab it, but the covers of these books are so pretty and the contents is so original and unique and yay! Number 10, the weirdest thing you've used as a bookmark. Um, I tend to just use bookmarks. I mean, I did use a receipt for a really long time, but that's not particularly weird because it's still a piece of paper. I occasionally use like the corner of my blanket, like I'll just throw that in the book. If it's only like temporary, if I'm literally just putting it down to go and get a drink or something. But usually I just use bookmarks. Sorry, that's really boring. <laughs> Number 11, used books, yes or no? Yes, because books should be loved and reloved and reloved, but I do like to be the first person to crack the spine on a book. So, uh, if it's a used book that hasn't had the spine cracked, and then I can crack it, that's great. Number 12, top three favourite genres. Fantasy, sci-fi, young adult. Number 13, 
borrow or buy, buy. I like to own a book. If I'm gonna read it, I wanna own it. Number 14, characters or plots? Characters, absolutely. If the plot is really great, but the characters are not at all engaging or relatable or interesting, then the plot kind of loses something. Whereas if the characters are engaging and relatable and interesting, then I'm not so fussed if the story's not going anywhere just because I'm interested and intrigued by the characters. Do you know what I mean? Number 15, long or short books. Totally depends what the book is. If it's like a YA contemporary fluff, then short. But if it's like an epic fantasy, then absolutely give me all the pages. 16, long or short chapters? Short chapters, absolutely. Because if I'm in bed reading, I will count the pages to the next chapter to see if I can read that chapter before I fall asleep. So if it's a short chapter, I'm more likely to then keep going. And if it's a long chapter, if it's like a 20 page chapter and I'm in bed, then I will probably just think, okay, that's too long, I need to go to sleep. Whereas if it's three pages, I'll read it and then I'll count the next one. If that one's only four pages, I'll read it. And then I'll probably end up reading more than 20 pages anyway. <laughs> 17. Name the first three books you think of. Gemina, Illumine, and A Court of Mist and Fury. Question 18. Books that make you laugh or cry? Cry. I like a book that tugs on the heartstrings. But then again, I also like a book that makes you laugh. A book that can do both. Question number 19. Our world or fictional world? Totally depends on the fictional world. If it's a dystopian fictional world, no thank you, I'll stay in the present our world. If it's like a magic, ethereal Eden of a world, then I'll go there, thank you. Number 20, audiobooks, yes or no? Currently, it's a no, but I am intrigued by them and would like to try one. For like the bigger books that I'm intimidated by, I think listening to the audiobook of it will make it seem less scary. 21. Do you ever judge a book by its cover? Yes, absolutely. If I'm in a bookshop, I do not have time to read the blurb of every single book or the first page of every single book. I'm just gonna pick up the one that catches my eye with its cover. And if you say that you don't judge a book by its cover, you're a liar. Question 22. Book to movie or book to TV adaption? To be honest, I don't think I've ever actually seen a book to TV adaption. I don't watch television very much, but book to movie, movie adaptions I love, so I'm gonna go with book to movie, just because I haven't seen a book to TV. Question 23. A movie or TV show you preferred to the book? As I say, haven't watched a TV adaption of a book, so I don't know. Um, a movie that I preferred to the book? Um, tell you what I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with The Hunger Games, because I haven't read the books but I've seen the movies. And please don't like murder me in my sleep, but I don't plan on reading the books. Like I enjoyed the films when I saw them. I still haven't actually seen the last two and I can't remember what happened in the middle one. So I really only remember the first one, but the book doesn't call to me and the movie was all right. So I'm gonna go with that one. Question 24, series or standalones? Again, that completely depends on the story. If it's an epic fantasy, then a series, please, because I won't want to let go of it. But if it's a YA fluff, then you can't carry that into a series. I don't think that would bore me to tears. To be honest, I don't read much YA fluff. I only tend to reach for the fantasies. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go with a series so that I don't have to let go of it. And there you go, that is 24 questions on the rapid fire book tag. And I think I've done this pretty rapidly. If you haven't done this tag and if you wanna do this tag, consider yourself tagged by me. You, right there, you are tags. If you have a channel and if you wanna upload this tag, do it. I hope you've enjoyed this little video. If you have, then please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna to talk to me, drop me a comment, we can have a chat. And um, if you fancy subscribing, I'm always grateful for that. And I'll see you next time. Bye!